Hello everyone. In this video, we will quickly demonstrate how to apply wind loading in protostructure environment. In order to apply wind loading, the desired wind code must be selected by the user. For this purpose, select the building analysis and click on the project parameters button. Then, select the code that you want to use for your project given on the right side of the wind load code. You can click OK button to exit from this window. After selecting the wind loading code, you can proceed with the phase of preparing load combinations. To create the relevant combination automatically, you can select the load combinations button. Then, mark the wind loading checkbox in the loading generator window. You may also define negative load cases using the define negative separate load cases option. Let's select the OK button and prepare the combinations regarding the selected code. As seen here, for different wind load cases including torsional moments are given in ASCE 7 code are created automatically with load case coefficients. Now, we can start to insert relevant parameters by wind load calculator after selecting the wind and story load button. In our case, the ASCE code has applied and required parameters such as wind speed, wind directionality factor, gust effect factor, wind pressure, and parameters related to terrain and surroundings. Topographic factor can be inserted manually or can be determined using terrain and surroundings parameters. Then, we can click on the Create Report button to generate the report regarding these parameters. As you see, inputs and results are provided, and the report can be exported to PDF and Word formats. To finalize it, you can click on the Apply button to close the wind load calculator. In the Story and Parameters, you can clearly see that calculated wind loads are already assigned the center of the related story. Lastly, I would like to show how we can review the applied loads on the analytical model. Hence, I will run the analysis using the building analysis button. Analytical view mode will be activated after running the analysis. Let's select the load case and click on the displacements button to see the deformed shape of the building and wind loading forces that are applied in the analytical model after selecting the wind load case. You can also review the torsional moments around Z-axis by selecting WMX and WMY. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to Proto YouTube channel to hear about our latest tutorials and videos.